Welcome to It's All So Wack, your weekly entertainment news and what's trending on the interweb. With your host, Zach Jutra. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. As you can see, the setup is different. I changed the angle of my desk, so now I've got everything close together. There's no more white wall or shadow appearing. And as you can see, the green screen is different. The background is different here. I've got my laptop here so I can see the audio levels, and I'm liking the audio levels. I don't need a big box in front of me anymore. Anyways, let's jump into the news stories. <laughs> Friends reunion is official. The six main friends are returning for an hour long unscripted special. The special will be airing on HBO Max, a US streaming service. When is not certain, and for our Canadian viewers, HBO Max is not available in Canada, but HBO Max shows and movies end up on Crave. The cast are making roughly three to four million dollars each for the special. And in other news of friends, Matthew Perry officially joined Instagram this week. In other news, Demi Lovato is getting her own talk show. The talk show will be on Quibi, a mobile streaming service. Now, we talked about Quibi in the last video when we talked about how MTV's Punk was getting picked up for a revival on the streaming service. Now, on the streaming service, it says that the videos will be 10 minutes or less. Now, we don't know the exact length for Demi Lovato talk show videos, but we do know she will have 10 episodes, and we know that the log line of the show says that it will be covering the following topics. Candid, unfiltered conversations between Lovato and guests, including experts and celebrities, exploring topics such as activism, body positivity, sex, relationships, social media, gender identity, and wellness. Our top story is journalist Gail King came under fire this week when the network she works for, CBS, released a promo video of an interview she did with Lisa Leslie, WNBA player and friend of Kobe Bryant. In the interview, all kinds of questions were asked, according to Gail. The interview covered everything. It was an interview about his life and legacy. Although the promo that was aired showed Gail asking about Kobe Bryant's sexual past sexual assault charge. Here's the clip of that. It's been said that his legacy is complicated because of sexual assault charge, which was dismissed in 2003, 2004. Is it complicated for you as a woman as a WNBA player? It's not complicated for me at all. Even if there's a few times that we've been at a club at the same time, Kobe's not the kind of guy, never been like, you know, Lisa, go get that girl or tell her or send her this. Mm -hmm. I have other NBA friends that are like that. Mm -hmm. Kobe's, he, he was never like that. I just never see, have ever seen him being the kind of person that would be do something to violate a woman or be aggressive in that way. I, that's just not the person that I know. But Lisa, you wouldn't see it though. As his friend, you wouldn't see it. And that's possible. Mm -hmm. I, I just, it's just, I just don't, I just don't believe that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying things didn't yeah. happen. Mm -hmm. I just don't believe that things didn't happen with force. Is it even a fair question to talk about it considering he's no longer with us and that it was resolved? Or is it really part of his history? I think that the media should be more respectful um, at this time. It, it's like if you had questions about it, you've had many years to ask him that. I don't think it's something that we should keep hanging over his legacy. I mean, he went to, it went to trial. Yeah, but the case, is, it was dismissed because the victim in the case refused to testify. So it was dismissed. And I think that that's how we should leave it. The clip we just showed here is owned by CBS and we do not own it. Gail was mad at CBS for showing only that clip without context in the promo. The full interview was out before and the people who watched it had no problems with the full interview. But with just the promo clip alone, people were furious. 
What do you think? Should people be mad with just the clip alone? Or should people watch the full interview before getting upset? Thanks for watching It's Also Whack.